Today we'll talk about why lithium iron phosphate battery needs a BMS. I have a custom made 12 volt lithium iron phosphate pack here with the balancer and it doesn't have a BMS. So I'm going to show you what happens when you plug in a 14.6 volt charger and charge this pack. I'm also going to talk about other batteries in the market that are built without a BMS. Inside these, there's just a balancer and there's no BMS. These are batteries for lawnmower, motorcycles, and small vehicles and such. There's no BMS inside these batteries. I have a whole box full of these that are completely dead. Not this particular brand, many different brands. I'm going to tear it down and show you what's inside and explain to you why you need a BMS. But first, I'm going to plug in and charge this battery pack here and it only has a balancer connected to the four cells here. There is no BMS and my charger is 14.6 volt, 25 amps. So without a BMS, three of the cells might be undercharged whereas one of the cells will be overcharged. And you know what happens when the cell is overcharged, right? Got boom. So I want to know if the balancer can help balance all the cells to charge it safely this way. Now let's plug it in. And you can see it's charging at 24.6 amp right now. Now let's see what we got. The total voltage, 13.68. Three point four, three point four, three point four. Wow, three point four. That's amazing. It actually keep all the cells in balance. That's awesome. We can only see whether or not it's going to overcharge one of the cells when the entire battery pack is almost full which is at 14.6 volts. Each cell can take up to 3.65 volts maximum. I'm gonna let it charge until the battery is full or almost full and I will come back and check on it. All right, my charger has stopped charging. That means the battery is full. Even though there's no BMS, but the charger knows that the battery is full when it reaches a certain voltage. Let's see what that is. And that is 14.75. Let's check on the individual cell voltage. 3.72. 3.72. 3.53. This one is undercharged. 3.747. Almost 3.75. These three, they are overcharged. They should be. 3.65 not 3.75 they are overcharged right 0.06 volts overcharged not much but still overcharged whereas this one here is undercharged right should be 3.65 we got 3.54 so to sum up should you charge the battery with the balancer without a BMS the answer is no, absolutely not. It is very risky and dangerous to charge a battery like this. It's not the balancer job to balance your entire pack while you're charging the battery. The balancer is just for balancing all your cells when you're not charging your battery. You will need a BMS to charge your battery safely not the balancer. And this is why so many of these batteries fail. So next let's talk about this battery. This is a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. Inside this battery pack there are four lithium iron phosphate cells connected in series and a balancer. That's it. There is no BMS inside this battery. Lithium iron phosphate cell lasts a long time. Usually about 3000 cycles easily. I don't get anywhere near that. And you can see it's, it's popped up pretty bad on the side there. And that's a sign of the battery being overcharged. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this down and show you what's inside. Check this out. It is in case inside expansion foam. It 
it is such a pain trying to get this out here's the inside of the pack and here are the cells it's actually composed of many cells together not just four cells but we got four packs together so this is one here this is two that's three and that's four and the main negative terminal is here is soldered directly onto the battery terminal the main positive terminal is here directly soldered onto the main battery terminal and the two main wires go directly outside to the top connectors here so the main wires don't go through a circuit board it goes directly from the battery pack goes straight out and that's when you know this battery pack does not have a BMS so when you charge this battery the power goes directly from these two terminals go directly to the battery pack and there is no control whatsoever for charging and the same for this charging the power goes directly from this terminal from the battery pack go straight out there is a balance cable however it's composed of five wires so we got red yellow blue green and black they all go to the circuit board down there but that's just a balancer it's not a BMS I got everything out of the case this is the balancer and look at the battery now that it's out of the case it looks like an accordion <laughs> yeah I can tell this accordion is broken that's why it sounds so bad here's a balancer it's actually composed of four individual circuit boards and I can actually remove each one individually and they are composed mostly of resistors to discharge the cell down to a certain voltage so that it will match the lowest voltage cell you can see on these four boards there are only five small wires connected to them black green blue yellow and red the two thick wires that come from the main battery terminals they are not connected here so without a BMS to control the power and balance out all the cells here the battery will be overcharged and that will be just a matter of time I have recounted on the cells and there are actually 24 cells in here so each group is 6P so this is 4S 6P almost all of them are swollen except this group here this group is totally intact and the rest of them look like puffer fish so there you have it that's why you need a BMS for a lithium iron phosphate battery pack a balancer is nice to have it will help balance out the battery but that's not enough and that's all for now thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video